happy whatever day it is Tuesday Tuesday trust me I know it's only Tuesday all right get you out here yeah, so I can see ya if you're out there live let me know say hey if you're watching this live I'm super happy if you're watching it after the fact say hashtag replay in the comments so I know you get to see it whoops what did I just do messed up something there we go hey good morning I see y'all not like this time Sarah All right, I got gotcha. you. I got all your comments right here. <laughs> Live heckler with me this morning, yay! All right, I'm gonna make hash browns this morning, you guys. I'm gonna make spaghetti squash hash browns. Yay, Anne Marie, she got the notification. Something worked. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. This morning, before, hey, Sonia. This morning before I went downstairs, thank you, Tracy. Oh, every single one of my aprons is in the wash. Let me see, and the laundry is backed out. Let me see, is there one here in my, seriously? I don't have a single clean apron? What? Okay, well, I own like six aprons and all of them are in the laundry. We need to do laundry. Oh well, it's all right. Apron free this morning. Um, it's okay. It's not like I'm dressed for the Grammys or anything. <laughs> All right. So um, I, Kathy, my friend down the road, gave me a summer squash that she grew in her garden, or I should say Jeff grew in his garden. Jeff, thank you for the summer squash. Not summer squash. Spaghetti squash. Did I say that right? <laughs> don't worry <laughs> Anne Marie all right um so I put this in the, so I scored this this morning to cook this in my microwave quickly I scored it around the edge to make it easier to cut sometimes that's necessary this homegrown one is softer than the ones you get in the store that are you know take three men and a small child to slice open. This one did not need that. This one was cut really easy, but I scored it just in case and then poke the heck out of it. Just like that and, and make that face when you do it. It, it. it goes better that way. So vent it to death so it doesn't explode in your microwave because I don't want anybody to get hurt. But, um, Put it in the microwave, vent it really, really well, and then vent it, I mean, cook it for five minutes in the microwave. And then I came and I cut the end off because if you cook it for longer than five minutes in the microwave, even with the vent holes, if you're not careful, it can explode. And you can reach in there and grab it and it will, you know, and it's no, it's just no good. I don't want anybody to get burnt. So I vented it and then I cut the end off and I cooked it for five more minutes and it's perfectly cooked. So here's, oh, it's nice and floppy. It's hotter than Satan, Satan's armpit. It's very hot. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scoop out the guts. Look at that pretty, look, it looks so pretty. This homemade one, homemade. <laughs> homemade summer, not homemade. Homegrown, that's the term I'm looking for. And it cooked quicker than others. Bassy, please don't beg for this. You do not want, trust me, you don't want spaghetti squash. It's gross. That's <laughs> Bassy. <laughs> you guys can hear that? <laughs> that was Bassy rolling on his back, rubbing his back on the ground, on the rug. And he grunts when he does it. I'm surprised you can hear that. Oh. 
That's funny. All right, you get the guts out. Bass, you don't want this. He's standing here waiting for me to give him a bite. I'm not giving you a bite of spaghetti squash. You're, no. All right. All right, it's hot. You're the only one that will eat spaghetti squash. Have you tried making hash browns out of it, Sarah? Maybe you can get your fam to eat it that way. Not that I could get mine, let's face it. This is super wet. There was no water in the microwave with it. Just the squash by itself. I'm gonna scoop out all the spaghetti. People make me laugh when they say, oh, it works, it makes the perfect substitute for pasta. No, it doesn't. I'm not gonna encourage that, it's gross. <laughs> if it works for you, good. It don't work for me. I don't even know that this is gonna work for me, it's so wet. All right, get all the hair out. I'm not a big fan of spaghetti squash, but it's gonna taste like this. It tastes good like this. Yeah, I'm not surprised, Sarah. That's because it does. It's good, but it's not pasta, and it's not potatoes, but it is a good substitute for me, not for somebody who's not wanting a substitute. If you're not looking for vegetables as hash browns, then it's probably not going to taste so great. Right? But for us mamas trying to trim ourselves, it's a great substitute. Come on now. I'm going to eat this whole thing because it's not very big. I was going to cut it in half and bake it, like make it enchilada, like enchilada. But I decided to do this instead. All right, it's paper towels. A whole bunch of paper towels, this is how I do it. Yes, I waste paper towels, but that's okay. This is how I do it. I accidentally brought frozen butternut squash. Mm. I think I did cook it too long, Tracy. I looked up the microwave instructions because I haven't done it in a while and it said to cook it for 15 minutes. So because it was small, I cooked it for 10. It's still too long. I think five minutes was probably enough. I don't think I needed that second five minutes. I think it's, it is mushy, but that's okay. Mushy hash browns with KJ. Are you surprised? Did you expect it to go the way it should? It's totally mushy. I totally screwed it up. Well, we'll try it anyway. See how it goes. I totally, this is definitely not spaghetti. Note to KJ, next time, start with five minutes and check it. Don't just assume it's gonna take 10 minutes. The frozen, you don't like the frozen spaghetti squash? No, I don't either. I don't either, Lori. It doesn't, it's mush, just like this. I overcooked mine the other day because I left it in too long. Yeah, I definitely did. It was much more tender because it was fresh from the garden. See, now this is how I know. I did not know this. It's just, there is so much water coming out of this, you guys. It's no longer spaghetti. KJ, can you just not get it right once in a while? Listen to all that liquid, can you hear it? Homegrown is superior. Maybe I need to go get my one cherry tomato out and saute that up. I got one cherry tomato that's ready to be picked. I, I was laughing with my mother the other day. Those cherry tomato plants were given to me. I spent $5 for the two buckets. I spent $10 for the, for the dirt and the miracle Grow stuff that's in there. 
So I spent $15. So far I have two red cherry tomatoes and I could have bought an entire jumbo pack at Sam's for $2.99. <laughs> All right, that's what I have left. <laughs> oh my word. That's what I got left after I took all the water out. <laughs> I probably, somebody's probably gonna tell me I should have saved that water because it's probably got something healthy in it, right? somebody did. There's probably lots of good nutrients in that liquid. There probably is. And I just threw it out. After you get your tablespoon and a half of spaghetti squash. And you guys, I don't even know. It's so, still so wet. It's still soaked. <laughs> Oh my word. Look at the liquid. How is... Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's take, after that, let's take your tablespoon of squash and let's bulk it up. My, no, my plants were free, Sarah, but I bought two buckets from Lowe's. Those were $2.50 each. And then I bought the dirt to put in the bottom. The plant was free, but all the other stuff wasn't. And I've watered them every day now for, what, two or three months? It feels like it hasn't been that long. Forever. I've been watering these stupid things forever. I got two tomatoes. I got like 12, but there's only two that are red. I should put one in my breakfast. I should totally put one in. All that work deserves some. This is still so wet. I'm going to try it anyway. See. Oh my gosh. Like, can I squeeze more out of it? No, it's just mush at this point. All right. Take your spaghetti squash mush. Your entire... That's my entire spaghetti squash. <laughs> oh my word. All right. I should make mini fried green to fried red tomatoes, Tracy. Mini fried red tomatoes. Well, I was going to say put some egg in here, but I don't know that this can support an entire egg. I think I'm going to I'm going to make scrambled eggs to go with it anyway. So I think I'll put it in a bowl, scramble it, and pour just a little bit in because um, I need like a teaspoon of scrambled egg. Oh, my mouth is wicked sore this morning, you guys. Remember when I was making, if you were watching the other day, when I made um, pickle juice ranch and I squirted way too much raw garlic in and I said I have to be careful with raw garlic because I can have an allergic reaction like I do red onions. I totally did. My mouth is swollen and blistery and sore because I had too much garlic in my pickle juice ranch. Too much raw garlic. I can't do it. I can't do it. My mouth oh, it just burns. All right, let's put like a teaspoon of egg. <laughs> Joining late recap. The recap is I suck at cooking. That's it. That's all you need to know. I'm trying to make hash browns. <laughs> it's not working. Add egg and cheese to it to make it a squash fritter. Do you think I need more egg, Bonnie? Because right now, this is what I got. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's put a bunch, maybe this will dry it out. Let's put a bunch of parm, whoops. Put about that much Parmesan cheese. That'll do it. 
just a gob. I have no idea. This is not going to work. <laughs> yes, exactly, Benita. Exactly. This is perfectly normal. I'm going to have one hash brown. Oh. Whatever. You know what? It's still going to taste good. It's all right. All right. Let's put some real parm in there with it. With that. With that parm some of the real stuff in there and by real I mean the stuff that comes in a bag not the stuff you shredded yourself because who's got time for that and I need your right and Marie I need salt and pepper. pepper salt oh that's something in my eye there probably maybe I'm I'm going to teach people how to make their own um Parmesan crisps, those wisps. How to make wisps at home. <laughs> How did I get that big gob of spaghetti squash over there on my computer? <laughs> Nutritional yeast, oat fiber, I see these suggestions. What do you think? Maybe a little bit of both. Sounds like a good idea. It's getting bigger. The more I add, the bigger it's getting. Let's get some oat fiber. I love oat fiber. There's my yeast yeast. Where's my oat fiber? Here. I should have something in my eyeball. Alright, a little bit of oat fiber. I'm going to put a little, like, maybe almost a teaspoon there. And a bunch of yeast. I love this stuff. Get too much or it'll be too dry. All right. Well, this looks this looks absolutely disgusting. Yeah, I know. I would want to put um <laughs> Cindy. Here I am thinking I'm teaching people something. I'm <laughs> not Cindy's like, no, we're just waiting for the next mess. <laughs> True story. Well, there it is. There's the next mess. <laughs> Look, just slap it down. <laughs> there we go. It's like Play-Doh. You, <laughs> you can make this for your homeschool kids for art class. You can make little people out of it. Look. Look. Kids, it's Bible class time and art. Make a statue of King Nebuchadnezzar. All right, Mom. Done. <laughs> oh, my word. All right. Well, one soap. Almost out of dish soap, out of hand soap. Come on, KJ. Get it together. All right, let's get some. I did murder it. I mutilated it. <laughs> All right, let's do coconut oil. Why is it hidden behind all the things? It's because my cabinets are a hot mess, that's why. I guess I need to bring the thing over here. You know, you wouldn't want to miss an instructional step, an important an important step in making these. Let's bring you right over here. Let's see if you can see. I gotta, I gotta make sure. I gotta make, I gotta look at the computer and make sure you can see. Gordon, he made this? What? Really? Good to know. All right, now I'm, now I'm not in the camera anymore. I'm over here. I gotta get over here. Hey. All right, a little coconut oil. I'm not gonna do a ton because, you know, I don't have a ton of food to cook. Sounds perfect, doesn't it, Bonnie? Sounds like, sounds good. I should go pick my cherry tomato. Cook that up with my eggs. I'll go get it. Let me go get my cherry tomato. Watch out, Sebastian.
Well, I have two. Come on, Bass. And one I left there too long, and it's rotten. So, you know, one I left there too long, and it rotted. So that makes sense. You know, grow your own and then let them rot. And I have one perfect cherry tomato. We'll, we'll add that to my eggs. <laughs> oh my word. All right. I've lost comments over here. My computer went to sleep. It's a hot mess. All right. I'm going to make mini hash browns like you get it. You know, these will be just like the ones you get at uh, Burger King or Chick-fil-A. Th that's it. These are copycat Chick-fil-A hash browns. We'll make little ones. Actually, <laughs> that's not a bad idea. They'll be like tater tots. Oh, touch the oil. The oil's a little warm. We'll make little mini ones. Why not? Fancy. Now, come on. How cute is that? This actually might be a win. They're holding together remarkably well. My house must be crooked because all my oil comes to one side of the pan. Either my house or my oven. I could just fry this up as one and save a ton of time, but you know, why do it that way when I can make it harder? Why? I might as well make it more difficult than it has to be, right? More fun that way. Oh, they're so cute. They're, <laughs> they're totally adorable. Oh, look at that. I'm a genius. Look at that. Come on, just a little. All right, let's come back over here so I can see on the computer. Aren't they adorable? Sarah, maybe your family will like that. Maybe your family will like those adorable little hash browns. Tell them their vegetables ahead of time so they don't get all upset. It might be the pan, who knows? <laughs> My single tomato is gonna be bigger. You're right, Bonnie. Where's my, I need some cream. No, I'm gonna put water in my eggs. Water's better in your scrambled eggs. Make some creamier. Creamier than cream. Use water. Well, that on the side, and I think mama needs some bacon. Actually, no. I'm gonna have sausage. I'm gonna have sausage. Maybe. Where is it? Who stole my sausage? Um, for real. Did somebody take my sausage? Did somebody break into my house and steal my Jimmy Dean? Oh no, there it is. Seriously. Great big box of Jimmy Dean. sausage just so you know it's the fancy sausage it's a little it's a little fancy remove two patties from the pouch and microwave for 35 seconds okay I can do that and then I'll put it in my pan don't worry Yeah, no, I haven't had my coffee yet. You're right. <laughs> Mary. Go take your selfie, girl. Make sure you have yourself in that picture with your food. Everybody wants to see your smile. That's what they really want to see. 
is a beautiful smile next to your food. Trust me on this. All right, 30 seconds. Let's flip the little mini babies over here. I'll turn you just a little. They're looking mighty to door. Oh my gosh, look at them. I know you can't see them, but you will soon enough. Be patient. Aww. They're adorable. <laughs> with KJ smoking. She's smoking over here, the coconut oil. Oh my gosh. They're insanely adorable. They're insanely adorable. I want them extra crispy, just like the Chick-fil-A like. Slap my sausage in here next to it. Whoops, I dropped that one right in the pan. That, that, I left out there. I need to throw on a cup of old Joe. I shouldn't call it Joe anymore. It's kind of the name I don't want to hear. Let's, let's, let's call it something better. Which cup do I want? I want this one. Go. Nope. Hey. All right. It's coming. It's coming, guys. Nope. No, no black coffee in this house, Bonnie. Nope. It ain't happening. Trimmy, baby. Trimmy. These are adorable. I can't wait to show you. They're so cute. Oh, I should put my tomato in there. I'll just slap it in there. This rotten one is actually really rotten, so I can't eat that. I'll just blister that other one and have it alongside my breakfast. All right, I'm gonna take my spaghetti squash out because they look like perfection. Slap my eggs in there and cook them babies up real quick. Oh my goodness gracious, look at those adorable, look. What is the TH rule on potatoes now? Wax. Waxy potatoes, totally on plan. Stick to red, yellow, purple, and sweet, and you'll be good. Enjoy them. I enjoy them all the time. Cook up, little tomato. Cook up. Am I even on camera? Yeah, I guess I am. I mean, not that it's necessary but it's kind of a boring cooking show if you can't see the person cooking which you can barely look at those fluffy water eggs I'm telling you water in your scrambled eggs it's the way to go all right my adorable little hash browns they're not super crispity. They look out, but they're really not. My eggs. My sausage. I had to let my tomato cook a little longer. It's taking some time there. It's taking time to cook. And I'll have a little trimmy. Actually, I'm just gonna do cream. Uh, let's see, do I have cream? I do. I don't have half and half, I have straight up cream. I'm just gonna do cream and sweetener today. Commissary didn't have half and half for some reason, they were all out. So I had to get the old thick whipping cream. All right. Yeah. 
Huh. Is it my my um, dishwasher does? It's it's probably my dishwasher. I had to start it because nobody else did last night. Oh come on! It shouldn't take that long to cook one single tomato. these hash brown thingies let's give it a go I mean look at them they're pretty cute I have to look pretty good I need some sugar for ketchup which I don't have but gotta have some hot sauce on the old eggs Ooh. The nutritional yeast tastes really good. Those are pretty good. Look at them. They're totally adorable with my little tomato. Alright guys, that's it. I'm gonna go eat. I missed my coffee. I have COVID. I'm sorry, Jackie. I'm sorry. I have a coffee ground. Stupid COVID. I'm sick of it. I've had enough. That's right. My accidental mess turned into pretty darn good breakfast. <laughs> they're not crisp. They, they look crispy. Maybe if they sat for a while. They're, they're soft in the middle, but they're still good. All right. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit subscribe and like and all that jazz. I appreciate it. Hit the little notification button and you'll get notification when I go live on the YouTube. Go check out Instagram, all the social media jazz. I've got a free 10 day challenge starting on October 29th over in my um, coaching community. So if you're not part of that, look for Joyful Life with KJ, um, an unofficial coaching community page uh, and request to join that. And you can be part of the 10 day no cheat challenge, um, committed mama challenge we're calling it, because that's what we are. We're committed mamas, committed to our health, committed to what we need to do to make our lives better. Um, what else? What else? I guess that's it. If you're interested in group coaching, you can join my session at any time. Um, just go to my website to check out the details. And that's it. I hope you all have a blessed, blessed Tuesday. Stay on plan today. There's no reason to go off plan on a Tuesday. It's Tuesday. There's literally nothing happening on Tuesday that forces you to go off plan. So stay on plan. And that's it. I love you all. Have a blessed day, and I will see you back tomorrow morning. Listen, tomorrow morning, I'm going to do something like a shake, and I'm going to be early tomorrow morning because I have to be out of this house by 7.15 at the latest, out on the road. So I will see you tomorrow morning bright and early. All right, guys.